good afternoon once again. Uh, episode number 945, just for those keeping track. And topic today is about the new year. Surprise, surprise, since it's only the second of the year. Um, and the topic today is another way, or another key, in parentheses number two, to have an amazing new year. Because I thought, why not teach some stuff I know as a gift and also as bait? <laughs> just to be clear, I am going to be inviting you to something that I'm launching uh, just next week. Um, I'll tell you more about it in a minute, but basically I'm going to invite you to something I'm launching, which includes some of the things I've already talked about. Yesterday I did a talk about the power of intention, how to do intentions effectively and accurately. Well, not accurately, it's the wrong word. Effectively and aligned, that's probably a better way of putting it. So today I'm going to talk about another piece of the puzzle, or another tool you can use to set up your year for success. Now, if you don't care about having success this year, don't bother watching. But I suspect if you are watching this and the title appeals to you, you'll stay tuned. Let's get to do a tease at the front end. <laughs> so hi, before I jump into that, hi, in case you didn't know me, um, well, my name's in the title. I, I've stopped doing introductions about my stuff and what I'm branding about because one of my coaches said, don't do that. So I'm not doing that anymore. So <laughs> jumping right into the topic at hand and keeping it more succinct. Well, let me say it this way. If you haven't heard of vision boards, listen up. If you have listened about, learn about vision boards, listen up because I'm gonna tell you some things you might not know about vision boards. So first of all, what is a vision board? Because things, by the way, if you've done vision boards before, definitely keep watching because there's some keys you may be missing that I'm going to teach that will help you have more power, more um, energy infused into your vision board in a way that works. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't heard about vision boards, let me explain what they are before we get too far into this. And I did, I did drop the seed about those yesterday. And again, yesterday's talk was about, well, Happy New Year was yesterday. <laughs> it was first of, the, first of the year. But I did speak yesterday about the power of intention versus resolution. And I'm very clear, our resolutions are usually about two weeks long. They don't help you through the whole year. So if you're trying to do something for two weeks, go with a resolution. But if you want to go something for longer than that, like a year's worth, use intentions. They're more powerful, more effective, and more open-ended to create miracles. Anyway, watch this broadcast for the full explainer and expose on that. Today I'm going to talk about vision boards and especially about what they really are. Yes, what they really are, the deep dark secrets of vision boards. Well, not quite. But vision boards are a useful tool when you're creating an, an intention of what you want to have in your life. Because with vision boards, you're creating an image. And that's what vision, you know, vision image goes, goes together. And this is 2020, so good vision is good. Good vision is good. Too many goods. You get my point. So a vision board is a visual stimulator, but it does have other uses. So that's why I'm saying stay tuned because I'm talking about how it can be kinesthetic so you can feel it too. Because vision board, although it may be a two-dimensional picture, which is... I have a pet peeve about that. Let me get... Let me see what that comes to me later. Okay, let's stay with the vision board first. I got like, three other things dropping in at once and like, patience. For me, not you, you're, you're fine. <laughs> so vision boards, they're basically what you would do as a kid as it would be like a collage. When you're a kid, you do collage, where you take pictures out of magazines, newspapers, yes, we had newspapers back then. <laughs> um, usually colored images with text and words and stick them all onto a piece of poster board. And there's normally two ways of doing them. <clears throat> also, two, two framings of them. One is to do your whole life vision board, where you can have sections of the vision board divided up to different parts of your life, relationship, housing, job, money, et cetera, et cetera. Or another thing you can do if you want to get really um, into it is to do vision boards in every single area. So if you have seven, eight different areas, and I actually teach, um, I think it's eight or 12. I've double checked. I have, I have a, 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 a life wheel I use in my teaching, which has more than two <laughs> aspects. And the vision board basically, you can do one for each of those spokes if you want to, if you want to, your choice. So, with that being the case, it's something that you can do whichever way you want to do it. And I would suggest right off the bat, if you're looking at this and you would go, you know what, I want to put my whole life into one vision board, then do that. If you want to do one vision board for every aspect, or one vision board for those aspects you want to focus on, because you don't have to do a vision board for everything, not necessarily, but if you want to do a vision board for certain specific aspects, like relationship, career, money, those are pretty big ones, then maybe you want to do a vision board for each, just to make it easier. Because then you can use put them. Because then, as a benefit, you can put them in different areas of a house. So you can put the vision board for for relationship in the bedroom. You can put vision board for business in the living room or something like that. You can put them anywhere you want. And there's no specific right or wrong in my book on this one. Although somebody who knows Feng Shui may give me better feedback. But what I'm saying is you can have them spread around the house. Whereas one vision board that is for your whole life you can only go one place, wherever it goes. Simple enough. All right. That's, that's the positioning. Now let's get into the details more. So a vision board, as I said, is a collage, basically, of images. But it's not just random. There's specificity, there's specificity to vision board. 
And simply put, again, it's pictures and words. That's the usual way of putting it. The key thing is to make sure that those pictures and words are things you want to have. As opposed to things you don't want to have, just to be clear about that. Now, I spoke about this yesterday with the intentions. Because intentions and visuals have a lot of parallels. They're framed in the positive. They're framed in the present tense. And they're framed to include you. So intentions start with I am. And it's experiencing, practicing, enjoying now versus will do in the future. And they're positive versus negative. Vision boards are no different. In fact, they're very similar for that reason. There's other things to it. So a vision board has to be, to be effective, has to be created in a positive energy. So the way it's language is positive. The images can evoke positive feelings because this is the part where you get kinesthetic. Is you can start feeling things from the vision board. When you look at them, does it stir something within you that feels good? If it doesn't, maybe you want to change the picture out for something else. So what I recommend doing is gathering, if you go to the magazines, you could, if you've got a good color printer, you could go on the web and just pull up images you want, to, you want to print out and then print those out and stick them in there too. That works too. But more nowadays, most people don't get so many magazines. But if you've, had, if you've got a pile of magazines from the last couple of years that you want to go through, use those. That's great. There's something very fun about the physical like, access of going through, cutting out and making the vision board that way. And that's the other part, by the way. With making a vision board, it is a very physical thing. So it creates a lot of, um, well, it joins circuits in the, I'm going to care if I say this, because I don't know all the technology, I'm not a scientist on this, but what happens when you do a vision board, it, it enrolls more of your physicality, which means you create more connection to the feeling of the vision board and you put more energy into it. That's all good stuff. So again, pictures and words that are positive, affirmative, and in the present moment. So words that you put on the vision board is enjoyment or life. And they could be single words or, or, or statements, but not massive sentences usually you might find maybe you've got maybe you do have a poem or an affirmative prayer that you love that you want to put in there which is written that's great but again present tense positive including you that's the three parts of the statement so if it's something about if it says in, on there it's like engaged that's present tense you can use it that way and you can also say well it's, it's me in there because i'll give you one of the actually i'll give you one of the, the keys by of that as well all right so you don't necessarily have every word start every statement start with i am but what you can do to make the, in fact, I recommend highly you do for a vision board is that you start with a picture of you in the middle of the vision board, square stack, slap dab right in the middle of the vision board. That is a picture of you that is recent, please, no, no picture when you were three years old or 10 years ago. I don't think you'll overlap maybe, but a vision board, a picture that's current and please one that is happy. <laughs> and a picture that's just of you. So three, three, again, it's always threes. So three key components to that. A picture of you that is current relatively speaking, it can be six months old, it's not too bad, that is joyful, positive, happy, and it's just you in the picture. Now, it could be somewhere on vacation, it could be somewhere just where you took it in, in your you know, your bathroom. Uh, no, Well, no selfies because the picture, well, let me say it this way. I don't recommend selfies unless you have the picture flipped to the positive. Because if you notice when you look in the mirror, when you're supposed to look at a picture of yourself, they're different. If you look in the mirror, you're seeing an, a reflection of yourself that's backwards. When you're looking at a picture, you're looking at yourself the right way around. If you don't, um, if you do a selfie that's backwards, part of you doesn't connect to that because it's you backwards. It's not who you are. So putting a picture of you in there that is the right way around, like someone else took the picture, or you do a selfie that's flipped, just to be clear, then it's more aligned to who you are and it creates more connection. So that's one thing you do is put a picture of yourself in the middle of the vision board that, so it connects to all the statements you put around it, are automatically including I am on the front because that picture of you is in the middle. It's like a, it's, it's, it obviates the need for that. It's a fancy word, obviate. <laughs> Playing up some new words for 2020. So that that's, starts the vision board. And then decorate the vision board with, again, pictures, images that tie to your particular area of, of focus. If it's relationship, there's all relationship-centric pictures. Um, words that are affirmative for that state as well. If you're doing it for a whole life, again, you might want to have sections of the vision board allocated to money, um, career, health, spirituality, fitness, relationship, etc., etc. your choice. So again, depends how you want to do it. But as long as in each area... You have positive words, positive images. That's the key. This vision board can take some time if you want. I invite you to use, use, you know, use your hands. So scissors, glue, you know, real kid stuff in a way. It's very fun because it's visceral. You get a feeling out of it. So you're getting a double hit of the physical. And it's very double hit of the feeling level, which is why it's such a good thing to do. Because not only are you creating the vision board by the actual physicality of doing it. So it embeds an energetic of positivity you're doing. So when you're doing the vision board, by the way, enjoy it. So a couple of things I recommend. Um, have a beverage of your choice close by so you can be relaxed. Um, 
Play some music if you want. Something that makes you feel up and joyful. Do things that basically make creating the vision board fun. Because the energy you put into the vision board is the energy you're gonna get out of the vision board. So just to be clear, that's one of the keys about doing vision boards. It's important for you to enjoy the process. If it feels like duty, work, homework, study, challenge, then you're putting that energy into the vision board. And you don't wanna do that, do you? You want it to be fun, playful, lighthearted. So do things that create that environment for yourself to do that. So definitely I'd recommend doing it if you can during the day when it's daylight. Maybe, maybe you're gonna do it with, if it's nighttime you have another choice, put some lights on so it's well, well lit so that you can make sure that it's something you can enjoy doing and feel present to. If you're straining to look at it because it's in the dark, not so good, you know what I mean? So that's the key components of the vision board. See if there's anything else I missed. Uh, have at least one of the vision boards um, if you can in your bathroom. Let me qualify that. There's two things going on. One is one is you may have a small bathroom, so it may not fit. So maybe you want to maybe you want to is take a picture, and make a like take a picture of it, and make a smaller version. So maybe just letter size and put that in the bathroom. Vision boards are good to have near mirrors. Is why I'm suggesting putting it in a vision board because then you can look at the vision board, look at yourself, and then have that sense of connection which you can add to it. So bedroom, if you have a, a dresser with a mirror, put it right there is good too, like next to it or around it, so you can connect to yourself and the vision board at one time because that's a powerful tool. Um, what else I want to put in there? And make it, make it, oh, that's the other part. <laughs> make it 50% believable. I didn't talk about this yesterday, but intentions are that way too. I said I mentioned that intentions and visual do align up a lot. Making them 50% believable is one of the keys because if you make it easily believable, then it's like, why do you start judging that maybe you should have already done it? You'll start sabotaging it internally because your mind's going to be running around going, it's so easy to do, why didn't you already do it? So to take that pressure off, Make it not quite 100% believable, make it 50%. So those things could be outside the range where maybe you're not in a relationship right now, but the picture you want on your vision board show a couple together, holding hands, in bed together, um, engagement ring if that's your desire. Things that you don't know for sure can happen, but are possible. So have that energy around the vision board too, because then it creates a direction that pulls you where you haven't been yet. It moves you into the future the way you want to be. And that brings me to another piece. Well, that one's going to be tomorrow, okay. Part of the vision board practice is to really get images and words that speak to you energetically. So the second part of the feeling level, one again is the creation of it, physically doing it, making the, taking the steps. The second part is to actually have a vision board that basically emanates the feeling of what you want to use. So you look at it and go, that's cool. So if you work at your vision board and you get excited or you feel happy or you feel uplifted by watching it, awesome. If you don't, customize it, add more, tweak it. The thing about vision boards are they're not cast in stone. You can change them after the fact if you want to. So if you create the vision board with all the pictures you have and you look at it and go, it's okay, but it's not juicing you, then I recommend highly that the, soon, that the first chance you get, if you don't have time to do it now, is you come back and you replace some of the images, add more images, decorate it more, make it more alive, so you feel jazzed, up, uh, excited, uplifted by it. Simple enough? This is the power of vision boards and it has so many different layers on it when you discover it. It's not just a collage like you did as a kid. There's more power to it when you put intention behind it and power behind it. Again, yes, it talks about intentions. The vision board practice process is an intentional practice. So I highly recommend doing vision boards. So again, so this, this is a step one. Yesterday was talking about the intent power of intention instead of resolutions. Please watch that. Today I'm talking about vision boards because another component. Tomorrow I'm talking about something else that's in the same vein that creates more, um, what's we're looking for? It creates more attraction for what you want. I'll put it that way. There you go. The old seed for tomorrow. So watch tomorrow's broadcast. So a couple of things before I sign off. First of all, as I mentioned at the beginning, these are imitation. This, these are components of something I'm teaching starting next week called the BFF Masterclass. BFF is balance, freedom, and flow. And the things we're about yesterday and today are really parts of the flow component. And I'm going to this is going to be a three month journey. And each, I'm not sure I'm going to create if I'm, if I'm going to do it three separate, three parallel streams or one at a time. We'll see. I'm, I'm not decided the order I'm going to put them in yet. However, I am letting you know that you can jump in now. I did, um, let me, I'll jump ahead. So first of all, if you go to my, my website, you go to barryselby.com forward slash BFF and the link will be in the comments. I invite you to check it out and have a look. It will speak to you. It's not New Year's centric, but everything I'm teaching in there is going to be relevant to your New Year's experience. So I recommend it highly. Second thing is, um, there's a, there's a sign up on there to indicate that the, the 
I can say this. The early bird special that expired January 1st, I've not taken down yet. Give me another day. So basically, if you do sign up, grab the January 1st um, PayPal thing, click on that, because that will save you basically half the price, almost. So if you're interested, you want to get it, now's a good time to get it, because I'm not sure I'm going to extend it to tomorrow, just to be clear. I decided to push it past the first of the year because of just feeling like I needed to do that. So it's available today. Grab it now. Sign up now. Get stuck, Get in there because it's going to start next week. So I want to have you in it as soon as possible. So that's going to stand. So I'm keeping that extended by one more day. I'm going to change the web page, but it's going to be out there if you want to grab it. Do that. Um, so tomorrow will be another broadcast. We'll take with you P number three, key number three, which is another level. How it takes both the intentions and the vision boards to another level. So definitely watch that. Speaking of which, let me tell you how you can find me. Oh, tomorrow's going to be earlier. Yes. <laughs> Remembering as I go. So first of all, this is my daily Facebook Live, so I'm grateful you were here to watch it. Thanks for being with me. I do this every day, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time, on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Tomorrow I'm going to do it earlier because I have um, social plans at 5 o'clock, so we'll be out. So watch that. Um, you join me live then. And as I said, this one's going to be a good one. Now, the good news about Facebook is it saves them. So if you missed the broadcast yesterday, which you may have done, or you don't get a chance to watch my live tomorrow, you can watch them in replay. So definitely come back and check my business, my personal page um, tomorrow for tomorrow's broadcast after four o'clock. If you don't catch it live, it could be probably be four o'clock. Yeah, be four o'clock. Um, replays, speaking of which, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do do these every day. I've done now for uh, over three years. That's why it's 940 something of these out there now. So you can watch them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Please like my page. There are most of them out there, but not all of them because Facebook doesn't show them all for some reason. Again, don't know why, but I have got a backup plan which is they're all on YouTube. So we get on my YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube is where I find more backups for these, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. You can subscribe to my channel, please. And on there is a playlist called Messages for the Masculine, where all of these broadcasts live from oldest to, from newest to oldest. You can scan through the keywords, text, and you can look at yesterday's broadcast and today's. So I recommend you definitely watch get it, and you, you check them out. Um, I'm biased. I think I'm giving good information. People tell me they're, they're getting good information. If you haven't seen them before, recommend you watch them. You'll find keys, tools, steps, relationship centric and beyond, because I'm moving into a new area of, of teaching now, which is more spiritual centric. Spiritual, something like that. So that will hopefully help you get what you want. So once again, I thank you for watching. This is my daily chat. If this has been of value to you, let me know in the comments. Again, the link will be in the comments. I did mention it verbally, but it'll be in the comments for the BFF um, masterclass that starts next week. I recommend you check in to get it now because the link will, the price point is still the discounted price till tomorrow, till at least today. It might go tomorrow, but I can't promise. So I invite you to check it out today and uh, play with vision boards, see how they work for you. If you have any questions, message me over social media or put a question below. I suppose I'm going to sign off. And uh, that's about it. I thank you for watching. As always, this is a quick jolt of inspiration for the new year. And there's a few more coming. So I appreciate you watching. Join me tomorrow and Saturday and beyond. And um, that's about it. Thank you once again. I'll see you tomorrow. Please take care of yourself. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.